Hey guys, welcome back. So I've been fixing up the storeroom a little bit more. Um, I raised the roof up a bit. And then I added these fence posts in between the chests. Because it just seemed kind of weird that those top chests were just kind of floating there. Um, so for the chests that were in the middle... I ended up doing like a checkerboard pattern with those and with some glowstone that kind of matched the the glowstone over there. Um, get a better view on that. Am I using a flying mod? Not quite sure what's going on here. It's kind of cool though. Get a good perspective on the way the floor looks. Kind of like it from up here. Okay, so what's really happened is uh, I wanted an infinite spring, and I put one in there, and you know it was kind of, it was okay, but I thought maybe you know a little column of water to go with the infinite spring would look kind of cool. So I just. Threw some water up there with some glowstone. Now we got a couple of columns of water in here. Uh, another reason uh, I wanted to do that is because I originally tried putting like a column of dirt in there just to see if I wanted to change it out for stone, but that didn't look that great. But without anything there, this room just looked really open and bare. So I thought it just gave it a little character. Yep. Um, still kind of undecided about these chests being flush with the ground like that. Uh, it kind of goes okay with the other checkerboard pattern. I like the glowstone where I have it right now. So we'll see. I mean, I can change that out at pretty much any point. It's not a big deal. Uh, I was thinking about maybe doing like uh, chests, logs, lightstone, chests logs, lightstone, but that just seemed kind of uh, uninteresting, I guess. This way it's a little little bit changed up. Got a nice little pattern going on there. Okay, um, the diamond pick. You can see it's about halfway gone now. Uh, I took two levels of block off the ceiling here, raised the roof up a bit, since there was plenty of glowstone here to keep the room pretty well illuminated. Uh, except for these edges here with those, these torches, it's a little dark in the corners and I just wanted to put those up there to make sure mobs weren't going to spawn. I tried putting glowstone like right there. Uh, and I also tried putting it right there instead and it just didn't look right so torches for now. If I come up with something later we can change it out. Uh, so while I was over here playing, well not really playing but adjusting the way the room is laid out. Uh, I heard some zombies. <coughs> Excuse me. And I started digging this way and there was just a little open room back here. There's two zombies just hanging out making some noise. So other than that I really haven't made any other changes. Uh, I did get a comment asking me where my mushrooms were. Apparently, <laughs> uh, I did forget to take these. I kind of was wondering where my flowers were because I knew I had some earlier and I didn't have any red or yellow dye or orange dye in with the other dyes. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to go clean out my inventory, move all this stuff down there, get rid of this chest and this other uh, crafting bench, crafting table. I forget what they're called. And then we'll go ahead and start working on that mine. And just for fun, since I was moving my mushrooms downstairs, I figured I would go ahead and collect the mushrooms in the now outside farm and see how many I got all together now. I don't know, I really like the way that looks. It's kind of cool looking.
Watching those mushrooms pop up like that just never gets old. Okay, I'll uh, see you guys back inside in a second. When I was moving the last chest down there, I felt a little inspired. So I put a creeper face here. Not sure if I like it. Not really hurting anything though. Okay, let's put the last of those mushrooms away. What do we got here? Yeah, I'm pretty well stocked up on mushrooms for just about forever at this point. And then the farm, while I'm in this general area, the chunks are still loaded for the farm, so that's still running. So whenever I need more mushrooms, those are going to be completely full. So food is no longer an issue. Okay, so let's see about this. Probably just come back. Really not sure. Probably one space there. Let's do at least a three level high roof. Maybe I'll expand this out one more round. This needs to go back two more. Okay, so I'm just going to do a pretty standard 3x3 three three all the way down. And up here, a piece of glowstone. And some iron there. Trying to decide which where I want like the ladder to go down from. I guess against this back wall's fine.
and I think there was that iron still up here to grab. I'm going to need to grab another pick anyway, so might as well just come up here, collect that stuff, and get a, another pick or two set up and ready to go. Yeah, that iron. Oh, a bunch of iron. So I probably want to grab enough for three. Oh, I'm sorry, enough for two. Nice, got some coal. And that's a lot of cobblestone I've already accumulated. to the bottom chest. Whoa. Okay. Well, I think I can actually just start marking off where I want to to go. Uh, let's see. Probably right there. To there. I'll probably just end up doing this on both sides, all the way down this main tunnel. And I think this map was actually these. Oh, I'm sorry. I think these chunks were loaded uh, before the 1.6 update, which means northwest or southwest quadrant probably has more ore in it until I get to the newer chunks. I'm not sure which way is north or south. Um, actually, there's a way you can tell. Uh, this L on uh, cobblestone always points north. So I guess southwest would be this direction over here. So I'm probably actually not in the right spot to even be worried about that. I've had a uh, mine set up like this in previous worlds before I started doing a let's play with you guys and I always had a ridiculous amount of slime spawning down here and like I'd have these tunnels probably 50 blocks deep and like slimes would spawn down these tunnels I couldn't even fit and they would spawn halfway in the wall and suffocate so you come down these tunnels and you just find slime balls just hanging out Ooh, I just saw a spot of red right there. I think that's some kind of graphical glitch, but I'm guessing that means there's probably lava. Let's see if I'm right. Yeah, I don't want to cross over. Yeah, you can see that right in the center, the... Uh, There's a dot there that's changing colors that looks like lava. I know it's kind of cheap, cheap that you can see through these and see that stuff. 
But it can help you out, too, so you can be prepared for lava when you break through to it. That's probably over another block or so. Oh, right there. It's a lava pool.